Welcome back. For decades, actress Mary Pickford ruled Hollywood. From becoming the industry's first million dollar actress in 1919 to co-founding United Artists. She was considered by many to be the most famous woman in the world. Thanks to Julian's Auctions and Auction Network, you can own a piece of Hollywood history. Hundreds of personal items and furnishings from the famous Pickfair estate are being sold in an unbelievable live two-day event, November 22nd and 23rd in Beverly Hills. To take part in the auction, all you have to do is register for free at auctionnetwork.com and you'll have a front row seat for all the exciting real-time bidding action. Over her illustrious career, Mary Pickford starred in more than 200 films, many during the silent film era. She earned the nickname America's Sweetheart and parlayed her success in front of the camera into an even more powerful position behind the scenes. Pickford's exploits were often splashed across the front page. Her personal life was as big and made even bigger headlines than her film career. Not only was she the most famous actress in the world, but she also dominated the gossip and society pages. Hollywood was a wild place in the 1920s. She wasn't as uh, staid as some people might have thought. So it was hard to stay married in that, uh, in that era. Following a brief marriage to actor Owen Moore, Pickford made headlines across the globe when she met actor Douglas Fairbanks. Mary Pickford and Douglas Fairbanks were two of the biggest names in Hollywood in the late 20s. Their relationship began strictly on a professional level, but it wasn't long before the couple became an item. She and Fairbanks met somewhere around 1916 or so, uh, and they fell in love. Both of them were married. Neither was in a happy marriage. Uh, and over a period of time, they carried on a very quiet, long-term affair. And they talked and talked about the possibility of divorcing and getting married. Finally, they did. And to their great relief, the public by and large accepted it. Thanks to heroic roles in films such as the 1920 hit, The Mark of Zorro, Fairbanks was one of the few leading men who held as much star power as Pickford. The couple were married on March 28, 1920, and their lush estate, which the media dubbed Pick Fair, became the place to be among the Hollywood elite. Pick Fair was a house that Douglas Fairbanks bought and had remodeled. It actually originally was a hunting lodge in Hollywood, in Beverly Hills. Uh, back when Beverly Hills was a place where you could go hunting. There was an era of history in it. And there was, you know, the swimming pool had statues on there, and. And it was um, a lot of famous people back there. You just felt the history, the chandeliers, and, and very f little has been changed. It's sort of like going into great expectations. It became so famous as a place where they entertained uh, people in Hollywood, they entertained people from around the world. Uh, all kinds of people came to Pick Fair. Uh, Amelia Earhart came to Pick Fair, presidents came to Pick Fair, royalty from foreign countries came to Pick Fair whenever they visited Hollywood and it became so famous that the name stuck and stayed there even after Fairbanks left and Mary stayed and uh, married Charles Buddy Rogers. It was still referred to as Pickfair. The top story was where Mary Pickford lived. It also had a little mini museum that you walked through a hallway that was a mini room with glass cases. And the glass cases had her favorite artwork from Denver, plus it had her one of her Academy Awards, plus it had some letters from famous people. It was really neat to go through there. Then you go through this hallway that ended up into an outside waiting room in front of her bedroom. And her personal secretary was sometimes there. And then you'd wait there until you got an audience with Mary Pickford. As time went on, Pickford and Fairbanks were often referred to as Hollywood royalty. Many celebrities, dignitaries, and even presidents attended parties at the Pick Fair estate. She really believed that if she was an amazing hostess, that she can meet and greet and influence a lot of people. I mean, every famous people, kings and queens and princesses, and even Mussolini came by the white, by the Pick Fair. Everyone you could possibly, every, every president from the mid-20s all the way to the 60s, visited Pickfair. 
The couple's celebrity status allowed them to travel around the world, and they often returned from exotic trips with beautiful pieces of art and home decor. The sky was the limit when it came to furnishing the Pickfair estate. Way back in the 20s, she would be collecting stuff and giving gifts from people that came into Pickfair about artwork from Japan, China, Thailand, and all the part of it. And she loved that art. She had huge, huge books with uh, manuscripts and drawings and flowers. The books were about three feet high by two feet wide and there were original artwork inside them and it was just stunning there. She had swords, she had costumes, she had wigs and she loved this because it, she integrated that in every day of her life. The Pickfair estate was well known for its exquisite art and lavish furnishings. Some of the finest pieces being sold in the Pickfair estate auction are the home's fine art pieces. Lot 411 is an oil on canvas painting attributed to Philip Mercier. Entitled Portrait of Three Children in a Landscape, the piece is signed with a monogram on the lower right. It's dated circa 1740 to 1745 and measures nearly 50 by 40 inches. Lots 412 and 413 feature a pair of stunning Paul de Longpre paintings. The first is an untitled still life painting with roses and three vases. It's an oil on canvas and is signed and dated in the lower left, 1889. The second painting is an untitled still life piece with daisies and two vases. It's also signed on the lower left and is dated 1887. Both paintings were hung in the living room at Pickfair. Lot 417 showcases a beautiful painting attributed to Asher Duran. The untitled landscape piece features trees, a lake, and a sailboat. The oil on board piece measures 21 by 35 inches and is signed A. Duran in the lower left corner. All four paintings have an estimated value of more than $20,000 and could be the top money winners in the Pickfair Estate Auction. When we return, we'll highlight more of the premier items being sold in the Pickfair Estate Auction, like this unique pair of Chinese carved rhinoceros horns, valued at eight to $10,000. The people who buy the by the stuff aren't going to be the Tom Hanks or the Sean Penns or maybe producers who, the Rob Reiners or the things like that. People who really want to understand where the basis of the industry start. The Pickfair Estate Auction comes your way November 22nd and 23rd, live from Beverly Hills, courtesy of Julian's Auctions and Auction Network. The Pickfair Estate Sale Preview Show continues right after this.